What's up, everybody? My name is Erin, and welcome to the Mad Maker Studio, and welcome back to the Slay the Princess demo. We've only got a couple more princesses left to me in this new 2023 update, and I cannot wait to see their designs. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Uh, take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Uh, just checking in on you. Oh, it's been so long since anyone's come down here. I was starting to think they'd forgotten about me. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? I think this time around, sure, but we'll we'll go ahead, we'll put our knife down, we'll talk to you, and then we'll we'll pick it back up and do a stab. I haven't dis I'm just here to talk. Then why did you bring a knife with you? How about you drop it? And then we can chat. She makes a compelling point. What if we just dropped the blade and talked? Look at her. It's not like she's a threat. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to Clearly, do. Clearly, I don't know. Again, we do not know how Maybe long this really princess has been kept down Killing here. Someone in but cold this blood single isn't chain around her wrist has apparently been, you know, enough to keep her in check at bay for this unspecified amount of time. All right, we'll, we'll drop it, but then we're going to pick it back up later, okay? <sighs> the blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Thank you. Maybe now we can just... talk. Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face. Unarmed. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. <sighs> just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. I know, I know. I I know what I'm here to accomplish, and that's Steam Achievements. <laughs> so here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. Yeah, it's uh, pretty awkward. I know. I just said that. Now why are you here to kill me? Let's see... I have my reasons. Do you think I'd just come down here to kill someone without even knowing why? That'd be ridiculous. I've been told things, but I'm not sure what to believe. Believe me. And do you think asking me what to believe is going to suddenly make everything crystal clear? Let's not pretend that's going to happen. As far as you're concerned, and as far as they're concerned, I'm going to say whatever I have to to get out of here. That's just the dynamic of our situation. Also, I don't know if I made a comment about this in another video at some point, but I really like 
that her dialogue is off to the side like this, like it's, you know, like it's a page in a book. Like we have um, normally, you know, visual novel games, they'll have the dialogue down here at the bottom. But I like, and and we have that for for us for our, the narrator, the voice of the hero, the voices in our heads, and then. Um, we have our side menu here with our options. Not everything is down at the bottom, which I think uh, it's a refreshing format. And again, it's it's like this is a page in a storybook, just the way the text is laid out like this. And I think that is brilliant, especially just from the vibes and the aesthetic that we're getting. This is not your normal fairy tale. This is not your grandmother's fairy tale. <laughs> Do you know why I'm here to kill you? Do you? No, that's why I asked. You're apparently going to end the world. Don't just tell her that. Well, I think she already knows or has some idea. Like, why else would they put her down here in the first place? <laughs> Is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I like the world, I think. Again, I do not think, at the end of the day, she did not start out as a human. That's my theory going forward. She was always some eldritch old god ethereal being. She was not born a human. Because a human, if, the, if she's been as isolated as long as I'm feeling she has been, she still has all her faculties about her. She's perfectly fine. This princess is not human. And she never was. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here a long time. Just how long has she been down here? If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so... dangerous? Maybe... Maybe I'm from a... a again, I think I'm a Tengu, which is a, a Japanese bird man. <laughs> Maybe someone, one of my ancestors was, had the ability to chain you up and it's like a family tradition kind of thing, or it's like carried on from generation to generation. Each generation has to at least make an attempt to finish what our, our great ancestor started. No, but I'm sure they have their reasons for keeping that information secret from me. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Not really, it was just a dialogue option. I clicked it. What if they're bad reasons, though? If they had good reasons for thinking I was dangerous, wouldn't they have shared them with you? I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to leave. And again, I made this comment in one of my videos from the initial demo, but another, another brilliant thing, attribute to this game is that it's in black and white, but not really black and white. Everything is a shade of gray because that's how the world is. There's no straightforward black, white. It's all shades of gray. And that is what makes this game even more brilliant. At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. That doesn't sound right to me, and I don't think it sounds right to you either. Otherwise, we'd be killing each other instead of talking. She has a point. There's a reason I've been telling you to question the situation, and there's a reason you've listened. So... I could tell you that I'd lead a quiet life in the woods, or that I'd open an orphanage, or that I'd do any other number of good things that I'm sure you think you want to hear. But you don't really know me, do you? What can my word possibly be worth in a situation like this? Well, from past experiences, you don't even remember your own name if you have a name. Did you just pop into existence one day? Like... You don't even know you. Don't come at me for me not knowing you. She's right about one thing. Her word isn't worth anything. Like I said, it's all about trust. Blind trust. So do you trust me, the prisoner, the victim, 
the princess clearly incapable of ending the world? Or do you trust whoever put me here? She's wrong. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything, all for the sake of one person, and a subjugating monarch, no less. A narrator, narrator, you couldn't even think ahead. Make up a name, a, a name of a place that I've never heard of. It's like, what is she the monarch of? Where's she from? Where are you getting your information from? So, uh, we, we already get these three options here. We're just gonna go ahead and be like, okay, we've talked enough. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? You know why you're here. Play the princess. You charge the princess, blade trembling in your hand, but you've already lost the battle. Of course I have! Look at that stance! She casually sidesteps your thrust before knocking you to the ground with a single blow from her elbow. We shouldn't have hesitated. But she doesn't stop there. She kicks Ooh. you a few times for good measure, the pointed tip of her shoes feeling like a pickaxe against your fracturing bones, making sure you stay down. As you lie, crushed and broken on the basement floor, the princess kneels on your throat with the kind of weight you didn't think her slight frame could possibly possess. As you gasp for air, she eyes you with an intense curiosity. You shouldn't have let that fear creep into your heart. You had the upper hand, and now look at you. Is this really the best you could do? Look at you. Completely broken. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little disappointed. Uh, I made my choice. I'm locking her in the basement. I know you think this is a fair compromise, but it isn't. No one wins here. It's a chance we'll have to take. We can make this work. If we just stay here and keep watch, no one has to die. You're making a mistake. You turn your back to the princess and make your way to the stairs. <laughs> Rookie move, turning my back to the princess. It won't be long before I slip these chains. And once I'm out of here, there will be hell to pay for leaving me behind. Slip these chains? She can't, right? She needed our help to get out of here. But do you hear the conviction in her voice? I don't think she's bluffing. Either way, she dropped her mask, didn't she? You can still turn around and finish the job. Oh, that's a relief. I was afraid I already committed to not slaying her. It's never too late to do the right thing. <laughs> now hurry. But is it the right thing? We don't know yet. You charge the Dang it. blade trembling in your hand. All right. I, I don't know how I keep doing it. I keep going to the tower. <laughs> So I've been kind of running around. Eventually, I lose track of which path I've taken. But so far, most of my paths have led to the tower. I've still got uh, three princesses to discover, um, plus an additional achievement. I don't know if I'm going to get that on screen for everybody to see. But that's okay because I know I'm not the only one playing this, but dang it if it don't frustrate me, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, let's let's see if we can try slaying her again. Without hesitation, oh, dang. the blade down. The princess flinches as you strike and your weapon sinks into her shoulder. Okay. Oh, she looks so betrayed. You bastard. If I have to kill you to leave this place, I'll do it. Do you hear the conviction in her voice? Do you see that razor sharpness in her gaze? I thought we had the upper hand, but it's as if she's barely even threatened by us. I'm not so sure. Don't waver now. As you raise your blade to strike again, she kicks out, of knocking course your she legs does. out from under you. The two of you struggle on the ground. And we you got the three panel the comic. Blade, slicing wherever you can. Her fists connect with your body again and again, each blow stronger than the last. Forget trying to rescue her. This is... You roll out of her grasp and shakily push yourself back to your feet. Though every inch of you is in pain, the 
princess probably has it worse. Blood pours out from countless gashes, staining her once pristine dress. She pauses for a moment, catching her. We can still turn. So we're back here. We have reached the screen previously in a much earlier video, I feel like. I don't actually know how many videos I've made at this point, but I think I gave up the first time. Um, let's, let's finish the job. Can we even do it? You steal your resolve and take another step towards the princess. You probably won't make it out of here alive, but you can at least make sure she won't make it out of here either. Excuse me? What was that about not making it out of here alive? A voice of the hero, you're sounding a little concerned. Are you perhaps a part of me? Do you think this is what I wanted to happen? I have a duty to state the facts of the situation. And oh honestly, my god, I just had a thought. What if the voices in our head, like, they all have different names. What if they are all... Uh, going back to my ancestor theory... They are all my ancestors who have tried to slay this princess previously failed and are now a voice in my head. Are you following me? That's a crazy thought. I love it. Can you not feel all those ruptured organs bouncing around in there? If the princess doesn't do our friend in herself, internal bleeding is certain to finish the job. Yeah, see, the narrator asked him, can you not feel it? Like, the, the hero is a part of me. The contrarian is a part of me. The smitten is a part of me. I, the cold is a part of me. I think, I think it's an, an iteration or I would, I don't know about reincarnation per se. Maybe like in an avatar sense where you have, you know, you can talk to your past lives. Maybe that's a thing, but I'm I'm kind of leaning in onto this is a generational thing. Each generation of Tengu here has tried to slay this princess and failed. And when they fail, they become a voice that gets added to the next generation whose prophecy or task is to then come and try to finish what the initial ancestor started. The two of you clash for the final time. You feel your ribs break as she delivers a heavy blow, but you push through the pain, falling forward and sinking your blade deep into the princess's heart. Oh. The two of you fall to the floor. I think this is also an ending we've already seen. Man, these are hard. These are harder. <laughs> this was fun. You put up more of a fight than I thought you would. But I have to wonder- But that also makes it interesting to see where other people wind up in their own playthroughs because this, this looks and it feels like a very complex learning system. Like, choices really do matter. Like, every fine detail, minute choice factors into whatever the end result is going to be. And I think that is fascinating. Do you- Really think this is the end? Not by a long shot. There is again. That razor sharp look in her eyes and the terrifying conviction in her words. But you don't have the time to worry over her words. Everything goes black. And you die. Ooh! Ooh, we did it! We got a new ending! The adversary! You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin, and in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Y'all don't know how long I spent going in circles. I kept winding up at the tower. I mean, I'm not mad about it. I'm just a little frustrated. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Okay. Phew. All right, let's just let's just go to the cabin. A warning before you go any further. I like that when we do she get into the cabin. I mean, again, cheat. this is a demo. I'm sure the full release of the game is going to be, her. you know, a lot different. Don't believe um, lying. Um, I do. I do like hope the the preferences get fixed like to where I can turn off the animated backgrounds. 
uh, just because it just looks all janky and laggy in my recording. I do not know how to fix it. I'm just, I'm too scared to mess with any of my settings I have right now. But uh, what was I saying? Are you sure about? Yes. Yeah, so when we enter into chapter two, I, I don't, it doesn't matter. Like it's weird. There's a mirror there, but I don't think it matters if we pick up the knife or not because it was we're just. Give you some broadly the princess is advice. gonna come for us, and she's gonna end us. And then it's the end for us, like a storybook. The end. The princess will do and say whatever she thinks it will take to get her out of there. So don't trust her, ever. Are we clear? Crystal. Let's just get on with it already. <laughs> the voice of the stubborn. <laughs> All right, let's do this thing. The cabin is tighter Ooh. than its exterior would suggest. Its cold stone walls press in on you, as if trying to forcefully direct you towards your destination. The only furniture of note is a black iron altar. I like that table. With a pristine blade perched on its edge. I like a good corner table. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I gotta look at the mirror. It has to pay off. I don't to think it's gonna to pay off in the demo, but it has to it's pay off in the full game. There isn't much to see here. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. But I or get that, you know, as a player a character, sometimes the best quote unquote like art, like the. I'm trying to find the right phrasing for it. Sometimes the like your imagination won't let you down. So sometimes it's best to like not see what you would actually look like. It's just is best left up to your imagination. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. No, -uh, I'm just like, mm, look at this smooth, fine craftsmanship. There was a mirror a second ago. I appreciate a quality artisan. And now it's gone, so all of us can stop arguing about it and get to fighting. Get to fighting. Again, it doesn't matter if we take the blade or not, but we'll just, we'll take it. Why not? You take the blade from the altar. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. It's also, I'm more inclined to take the blade than not because, again, I'm a point and click aficionado. If there's an item I can pick up and collect, I'm gonna take it. I might need it later. Like, if I could pick up these planks of wood, I would take them. <laughs> but it won't let me. Oh, the sound effects are so clean, so the good. Door to the basement creaks open, revealing a rough stone staircase. Its walls pressing at your sides and tightening as you descend. The air seeping from below is heavy and oppressive, with an almost sulfuric odor to it. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. I would be so scared to walk, like, underground. Because you can get trapped down there, and that terrifies me. Her fierce voice carries up the stairs. This isn't what she sounded like last time. Whoops! Didn't mean deeper, to click. I got an itchy trigger or finger on my mouse. I'm just so excited. Good. Sounds like my kind of princess. As much as I appreciate the enthusiasm, just make sure you don't let your bloodlust get to your head. You need to stay focused and keep your wits about you. Remember, you're here to slay the princess, not to have a good fight. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes She doesn't look view, happy to see me. A large shackle leading from her wrist to the basement I wonder wall. why. It looks like she could rip those chains out of the wall without a second thought. Really, she she could escape any time, but she wanted to she wanted to make sure that, you know, we return to the scene of our crime so she could confront us. I do I do love the up updated design with the background. Everything just feels more unique and cohesive for each specific princess, and I love that. I love little subtle, like, just the choices matter mechanic, the multiple endings, 
things these things speak to me on a spiritual level. Oh, it's you again. I've been hoping you'd find your way back here. Good to see that death doesn't stick for either of us. And you brought your little knife, too. Yes. <laughs> see, you're, way, you're a little too excited about that now. I'm going to have fun breaking you into little pieces. Ooh. Finally, I am stoked that we finally got a different princess, a different ending. I ran through this. I cut, a, I cut so much out of this episode. I kept winding up at the tower. <laughs> But I guess that's going to do for this episode, this video of the Slay the Princess demo update 2023. I'm still so excited for the first, for the full release. And I do have Scarlet Hollow sitting in my Steam library. I just feel like once I start that game, I'm not going to be able to stop. So I need to make sure I'm in a place, <laughs> point in my life where I can sit down for an extended period of time and have no interruptions, but it is on my list and I, I'm, I'm going to play it. It's just a matter of when. Thanks again so much for joining me. Please leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I hope to see you next time. Bye.